you have tons of information on your monday.com board and you can't figure out how to filter it, let me show you how you can use the quick filter and the advanced filter so you can easily find information on your monday.com boards. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. If you look on this board, you can see that I have a lot of information on this board. Now let's say I just want to search for client one or all of my tasks that are overdue. I wanna show you how you can use two different kinds of filters so that way you can easily find the information that you want. If you look on top of your board, you'll see that you have an option for filter. If you click on the filter word itself, you get to the quick filters where here you see all the columns and I simply can just pick on one option. Like I can just click on column one, I can clear it, I can save it to a new view, which will show up here, or I can just see the information. So here we have all client number one, because that was the filter that I clicked on. Let's go back here to the filter. So I can also add something else. So let's say I want all of client one, but only in the top group. And you'll see that my bottom group disappeared. Then I can clear it and I have everything on my board again. If you wanna scroll through this info this way, you can see all the different columns that you have on your board with all the information that's there. And then you can simply choose what you wanna filter. Now, this is really helpful if you don't have a large board and you don't have a lot of information. Now, if you have a really complicated board, I would recommend the advanced filters. So here you can click on switch to advanced filters. By the way, you can also get it if you click on this down arrow. Okay, and here I have the option to choose one of my columns. So I can just start entering like when client, and then I have a lot of conditions. I can do is, is not, text is, text is, is not, empty, not empty. You have a lot of different options of what you want. So essentially I could do the same thing. Like when is client number one, I've done this. It's just a little easier to find the information that you want. Now what I can also do is I can add another filter and I can have either an and option or an or option. So I can say, and let's say group is top group. So I will only see the information in the top group. I also can change this to or, and I'll see both. If I add a new filter, it's automatically gonna be the same as the above. So if here I have an or statement, then here again, I would have an or statement. If I save this to change this to and, here I'm gonna have an and statement also. You can though add a new group, which is kind of like a sub condition if you wanna add something else under it. And if I wanna clear these, I can just clear them like that. Now I want to show you something about the dates, which I find to be really helpful. If you click on due date, so actually I'm going to start here. This is a due date column. If you click on the three dots, you can click on, it would be create deadline mode. Right now I've already created it as a deadline mode. So obviously I'm not going to click on that. Now what this does is it creates these icons here and it tells me like these two items are past my deadline. This is coming up soon. Here I have some more time and here I have a lot of time. Now, if you go to the quick filter, this is really good because I can search for due date and then I can search for, let's say everything that's overdue and I will only see things that are overdue or I can search for everything that's due today. Okay, I don't have anything due today. I guess I get to take some time off. Or I can search for everything that's due this week and I'll see my tasks. You have a lot of different options this month, last month, next month, future dates, upcoming dates, even if it's blank. And again, if this is something that you use all the time, you can save it as a view. Like if you go here, you can see client number one, this is a filter for client one and it's saved as a view. So just to recap, there are two kinds of filters, the advanced filters, and you can have the quick filters. I also want to point out that you can also use these filters on a dashboard. So if you go here, I can use this filter on a dashboard level. Again, I have my same options, my quick filter or my advanced filter, and that would apply to every single widget on this dashboard. Or I can use, I can filter just for this specific widget. So if I click this, 
Again, I have the quick filter or the advanced filter, and I'll say, this is task by client. So let's just say, I'll say an only if client is number one or client is, sorry, number three, I think, and number client one and, oh, two client one, number ones. <laughs> um, so I can filter just by that information. Filtering is a really great way to help you manage a lot of items that you have on the board and a lot of columns, and it can help you find the information that you need right away. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.